Hi all, in this video, let's learn about what is the differences between the Git tags and branches. We all know Git is a most widely used version control system. So let's understand the major differences between these branches and the tags. Firstly, so we know the main branch would be the default branch. Every code would be there. To create a new branch, what we usually do, we go here and we'll type the branch name, like uh, for example, the register register functionality so login functionality registration functionality or a story name and you can create the conventions whatever you have to create the branches you will be creating a branch like this and you can select from where from which branch you want to create that so now i'm creating a branch from, from main and the branch name is a register feature so if i click this a branch would be created so this is one thing and now what is a branch? What is a main branch and the tag? So let's understand this. So main branch is like a straight, like it's a flow. It would be like this. If you got a, any of the functionality or a feature to be developed, then you will be taking a branch from the main branch like this. Okay. And now you will be developing this functionality. This functionality may be a login functionality or registration functionality or any of the other functionality. Later on, what happens? The main branch would be like, oh, it will be going like this with all the comments like this. And now you have taken a branch from here. And once your development is done, you will be pushing that to the main branch again. So in sense, the branches are used. It, it is like a separate line of development. Okay, It is like a separate line of development, but once the feature is completed it would be merged back with the main branch and this branches can be modified so the code base in the branches you can modify them as ever you want and each branch has its own commit history uh, all the commit uh, versions commit messages everything will be having for this each branches okay in short the branches are used to develop the new features and the branches are used to fix the bu bug fix as well that is for the branches and branches can be modified. Coming to the tags. So if you feel all the, these features are fine till this point and you want a release at this point and you are releasing that, okay, like a, usually we'll be having the releases called 1.0.0. .0 like this, we'll be having the releases, right? So like that, if you want to release something at this point, then the good thing is like you need to tag this. You need to tag this, the particular version name. So tagging means this is like an unchangeable. It's like you can't mute anything. Tag means like for every release, it's good to have tagging. Okay, now if you tag this, okay, at this point, so it means you can't modify any of the changes from this, okay? If this is a tag, okay? And now you're not going to modify any of the, you can't modify anything for the tags. Why we need this tags is, See, going forward, you will be again developing the things like this, okay? And in you will be at this version, 1.1, say. And if you got a issue in 1.0, okay, uh, it, which is developed in one of the environment, and this is not it uh, moved to any of the other environments, but this is moved to one environment, then what you need to take a, do is, you need to take a branch from this tag and you need to see what is that issue and you need to fix that issue, okay? You should not take some something like here because the issue came from this release in which you have tagged this if you tag something so you can't change that code base but you can create a branch from this tag and you can resolve that issue and you can keep that fix in this environment again so this is the main advantage we'll be getting with the tags whereas branches it is like a parallel development it is like a separate line of development once the branch feature is completed, you can merge back that to the main branch and you can delete that branch as well because all these branch codes will be merged in the main branch. Okay. <clears throat> and the tag is used for this like this. And let me show how to create the tags. I have shown you how to create the branches and you can raise a pull request to merge your branch into the main branch. To create the tags, so click, click here on the tags and you need to go to the releases and here you need to draft a new release or create a new release. Before tagging anything, you need to do this like release and come here, keep one name. Okay, I'm keeping this like release 2.0.0. .0. This is my tag, okay? Before, yeah, this is my tag and from which branch you want this tag? I want this tag from a register feature, 
okay it means you are tagging from register feature okay you have tagged this so now this tag can't be modified uh, let me till register feature okay you can mention something like this and now you can write whatever the features you have kept for this tag and uh, all the important notes you can do and you can do set as latest release and you can publish this release now what happens you will be getting one more tag here so this is a new tag you have so let's go back here now in the branches you can see the branch names login feature register register feature like this tags also you will be having 1.0 tag 2.0 tag like this you can tag the things this is you can't modify anything in within this tag but you can create a branch from this tag and you can modify so that is a use case i have explained you when you whenever you get a bug in particular tags or versions so these tags are very much useful whenever you release any feature whenever you do any release try to keep a release like this and tag them so that from that release to the next release you can easily track whatever the features you have added whatever the bugs you are tracking everything can be tracked with this tags as well this will help in that way hope you understand the video thanks for watching and in this our rethinking ui channel you will be having a number of stuff related to the front end development and react javascript please have a look at it if you like the content please subscribe thanks for watching